Bates live from Idlewood Butterfly Farm this morning, introducing us to another bug. <laughs> Alex, good morning. Hi, good morning, guys. Yeah, so this is one of the largest insects here at Idlewild Butterfly Farm. Um, I've got Rachel in to kind of introduce us. I know this is Jasmine, <laughs> and she is a jungle nymph. Yes. Okay, explain to me um, what kind of insects these are, what they eat, what they do, all that good stuff. Yeah, so these are giant leaf insects from Southeast Asia, specifically Malaysia, and they're related to insects like stick insects. They're leaf feeders, so they're gonna be more active at night than they are in the day to make sure they're nice and camouflaged. But when they do move around, you might notice some kind of shaking a little bit, kind of like a like leaf. Like a leaf on a tree? Yeah. Nice. And so they are in one of these like containers over here. So what do you guys use use these insects you have here for? Yeah, so the in, these types of insects are here for educational purposes, just to kind of teach people about insects, why they're important, what they do, uh, give you a nice chance for a close encounter. Uh, but they definitely do need to stay contained, especially insects like these, because they do eat a wide range of leaves. So out in the environment, they could cause trouble, but here in the lab, they're nice and secure. What do you mean in terms of could cause trouble? Uh, they could become a new pest, okay. uh, possibly, if they're able to survive our winters. Uh, so we just want to make sure that we have them here legally and nice yeah. and contained so nothing like that happens. Can you imagine these things running around in your yard? Oh, oh I don't think people would very, be very happy about that at all. I don't <laughs> think so either. Oh, my goodness. So this one's name is Jasmine, and that is Jade. And you said these are females. And I was talking about, um, like, this one, Jasmine's antenna, one of them is kind of broken off. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Is that normal? Th that is normal in these kinds of conditions. Uh, insects don't have very good personal space. Uh, they don't social distance well, so they step on each other. And you could lose a little bit of an antenna or a leg or something like that. If it happens when they're younger, they'll get it back as they molt. Uh, but these gals are full grown. No problem, though. They live a life of luxury in here, so no worries. Nice. And people can have an experience where they come into the in insectarium. Um, how can they do that? Uh, so they can do that during our normal tour hours uh, that you can see on our website. Uh, we'll have daytime hours, but importantly for the spooky season, we'll have uh, some creepy things tours, some evening tours here nice. this Friday and then next week, Thursday through Saturday evenings. You can sign up for a tour slot. Sounds like a fun and educational way to spend Halloween. Guys, Jasmine and I are just really getting close this morning, so we're going to send it back to you guys. <laughs> you really um, on are. Isn't she cool? I am very proud of Alex. She is so brave. Never saw her hold the hissing cockroach. But it's okay. it's okay. You held many, many bugs this morning. We we know. There's still time. We've got the we 9, 9 a.m. Oh. oh, there's a good teaser. Tune in at 9 a.m. <laughs> Alex is going for the roach. <laughs>